Commissioner's Office is requesting the Board approve and execute the minutes for the meeting of November 26, 2019. So moved. Second. Commissioner DeVore? Yes. Commissioner Yes. Good morning. Good morning. A lot of stuff to cover here. I'll yeah. try and make it as brief as possible. Please so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there are multiple appropriations transfers for the end of year adjustments to payroll, OPRs, and hospitalization accounts. There's also supplemental de appropriations for the county home building improvements, airport construction, and transit capital funds to cover revenue decertifications. There's two cash transfers, uh, both from the general fund, one from the commissioners to our capital reserve fund, and one from court technology for the uh, remainder of their 2019 funding. Um, encumbrances include two then and nows, uh, one from the commissioner's office to the Portage County Detention Center for third quarter cost sharing, and one from the sheriff's office to Cisco Food Service of Cleveland for food service invoices not previously encumbered. There's two contract POs, one from community development to Burton Scott Contractors, and one from maintenance to Southwestern Communications, and then a travel request from the engineer's office to attend the National Association of County Engineers annual meeting. Among the vouchers are 22428 from ADP to Locos Communications. For 2020, um, these are end of life uh, phones actually. It's a little bit different from what I have on here because I got copies of the invoices. <coughs> so they're replacing some end of life phones. Um, 59575 from ADP to Business Smarts. For, um, this is for actually I got invoices on this as well. This is for to replace uh, servers and switching, um, both at the annex. Um, and then 86555 from the engineer's office to Valley Ford for a new 2019 Freightliner single axle plow truck. 104309 from the sheriff's office to Motorola Solutions for their annual spill and communications support contract. And 474464 from Water Resources to the safety company for a, their new gap vac sewer cleaning truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, multiple revenue, uh, actually decertifications uh, from the commissioner's office uh, for airport construction, county home building improvements, um, and also from Common Pleas in their Smart Grant Fund, <coughs> and Transit in their Transportation Capital Fund, and Water Resources in Auburn, Chardon Township, and their County Sewer Improvements Funds. These are for Revenue that will not be received in 2019. So the um, the uh, back truck I, that I got to see it last week and it's absolutely very impressive yeah, uh, piece of equipment. Yep. So that was the uh, just to be clear that was the one that was in the accident. Correct. Right. Yeah. And then back in July. And we've gotten our um, insurance settlement towards yes. that payment. Yep. Okay. And uh, we were. Um, Normally, to get one this quick is pretty rare. Right. Um, thankfully, there was another um, municipality, I don't remember where it was, that had ordered one and then had to back out of it. And it wasn't far enough along the line to create any issues, so we were able to jump onto that one and they built the rest of it to our specifications. Okay, very good. It worked out pretty good. Excellent. So, okay, good. So we're all, we're all, uh, Back to even on that one, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments related to the financials? So, so on that, yep. so we had got how much from their insurance company? <coughs> like a couple hundred thousand? Yeah, it was like yeah. two hundred something. I think it was right around a quarter million dollars. Yeah. And then who paid the other <coughs> fifty? Um, we basically did. <laughs> yeah. Water resources. Water resources. Steve just goes, I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Steve. It was kind of like I, I guess they, uh, the it was depreciation. It, it's not replacement cost. It's right. the That's fair market right. value of the asset. And so. the equipment that was on that truck, I know, is expensive. And they were able to salvage some of that too, I believe. Right. Right. You know, then we, they yeah. Uh, sold. They got we auctioned it. Yeah. Right. For more than what the they were offering us on the trade in as well. So. Good. Okay. Well, you never like to get in an accident, but <coughs> I'm glad everybody was safe. I know that they hit a UPS truck pretty, or the UPS, UPS truck, truck hit, hit them. them. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, but everybody's okay, so yep. um, very good. Well, um, if 
we could get a uh, motion to approve the financials. So moved. Second. Commissioner Devore? Yeah. Commissioner Lennon? Yes. Thank you. Do you, do you want to nope. Yes, I'll say. Okay, the, um, actually the next item on the agenda is um, <laughs> extending a uh, payback period for the Common Police Court in their pre-sentence investigation fund. Um, back at the end of 2018, um, we had extended them a payroll advance of $3,500 for that fund. Um, they, they did some different things this year with the state and ended up sending some funding back to them that they had in excess um, and unfortunately ended up with uh, with an insufficient amount to pay the general fund back so um, I'm not expecting it to take uh, till the end of uh, next year but um, I'm uh, asking the commissioner's office to grant them a, a one-year extension on paying that back to us what was the amount $3,500. Okay. okay, motion on item number three. So move. Second. Commissioner DeBoer? Yes. Commissioner Yes. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Aiden. Okay. So we have um, Common Police Court, but I don't believe anybody's here from Common Police Court. So. Um, this is the one I, mean, I can speak to okay. a little bit. This is just the memorandum of understanding uh, that's required for the grant that you know that they got for the drug court. So this is just the agreement that the, the commissioners will agree to abide by what the grant requirements are, and the language in there specifically talks about the uh, the county share being done in kind as opposed to a cash amount. Is mm -hmm. what, what they did. So it's the that the those who are uh, the individuals who are on the drug court committee, their time is what is being used for the, the match. The in kind. The in kind matches. Of course. Um, is in just to be clear, there's, I for, if I remember correctly, there was no. Um, cost to the general fund. There's no cost to the general fund. That's it. That's why this makes it clear because in the grant it says can be done by cash or in kind. And we're making it clear in the MOU that it's in kind only, not cash. Very okay. So it doesn't come the general fund. Okay. If you guys want to look at that before you. This paragraph right here. Motion on item four. <coughs> Second. Commissioner DeVore? Yes. Commissioner Spillane? Aye. Commissioner Lennon? Yes. Okay. County Engineer. Because we are. Yeah, yeah. you can take it. Okay. That's right. Uh, okay. 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 The next one too. Number six. Okay. In the, in the neighborhood. In the neighborhood. Exactly right. This is for not the final. No. Um, okay. Services in Kyle Road. Okay. Do you want to read number six, please? 
The County Engineer's Office is requesting the Board approve and authorize Timothy C. Lennon, Member and Chief Executive Officer, to execute the Howe Public Works Commission Appendix E Disbursement Request for new Certification Number 1 in order to release funds from the state portion of our OPWC grant for the asphalt resurfacing of Kyle Road C44, Sections C through D, in Clarendon, Hamden, Huntsburg, and Montville Townships in the amount of $236,348.79. So moved. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Stay warm. Stay away from here. Yes. Right. Thank you. Thank you for that, by the way. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Okay. We've got the sheriff's office. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Saving probably fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a year right now, and, and getting a better service, getting more hours on it. We're using a physician's assistant and, and the doctor, but you know it also saves money when the doctor is there. Somebody gets a cut or something, the doctor can do the stitches. You don't have to send them to the hospital to do it. So right. there's savings all the way around. We just need to uh, to fix that. Okay, so it's just an additional five thousand <clears throat> to that limit. To that limit, yeah. Okay. We're not asking for the money. Gotcha. To shift it. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we read seven, please? The sheriff's office is requesting the board approve an increase to the purchased services agreement between the Joy County Board of Commissioners and University Hospitals Health System Incorporated to provide physician services to the inmates at the safety center of an additional five thousand dollars for the period ending December thirty first, two thousand and nineteen. Motion, please. So move. Second. Mr. Boer. Yes. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, some water. Come on. Good morning. Christine, are these just uh, singles? Yes. For two? Oh, sorry. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Carmel, how are you? Good morning. Good, good. good. Oh, that's all right. How are you? I'm good. So, the uh, uh, item made on the agenda is um, the 2018 uh, farmland. Agriculture Easement Purchase Program. They just had to, because it was two years ago, they have to uh, finalize the final amount, even though that easement has not been completed yet. Mm -hmm. So they had to update the contract just to keep that those funds set aside for this project. We have an applicant from that 2018 round in Troy County. I see. And and then we're already set up for, for 22, right? 2020, yeah. Yes, we we're all set for that. Those applications can be accepted up until. I'm accepting until the end of February, so I can put them together. I see. Cool. Have we had anybody come up yet? No. I had two people interested last year, but knew they couldn't get everything together because they were looking at purchasing some land yeah. and uh, making a move with it, but couldn't make it all put together in time. Yeah. So they said, well, I'll we'll look, look at next year. So I haven't okay. heard anything from them yet. But. So. Um, different subject. Or have you been pretty busy with all the construction going on this year, this summer, and this, everyone tying stuff up now? And yeah. yeah, yeah. We're trying to get everything now. Yeah. Sure. Difficult. Yeah. Do you have any jurisdiction over the uh, Berkshire School with the silting fence? Yes, I do. Okay. <coughs> okay. Did you? Um, so I, I understand there was maybe some. Silt going into the fairgrounds. And yep. you go it was check a that out. Failure. Yeah, yeah. We there, it occurred twice. Their diversion berm that goes into the sediment basin that is uh, holding the sediment or the sediment laden water and letting it drop out. The berm failed twice. So in two different locations. So and, and from what I understand, I the, just with the rain it had saturated the berms. It looked like I, we can't this is to figure out what caused it to do that. It was the excessive amount of rain or what was it but we got those they all got fixed um, we put some secondary measures in place and we are look, we're meeting with them tomorrow to come up with 
something else because this every time we got a rain it's like it's yeah. gonna happen. You it know? looked pretty <laughs> substantial. I mean I just saw photographs, but it looked like it was yes. a lot running down right into mm -hmm. all the ponds and holding right. it was their going, fishing pond was right. completely and full. Yeah, we, uh, we were looking at the the water mm -hmm. looks a lot worse than what's actually in the water settling out. Sure. And we have a um, a device that we can determine how much sediment is actually in the water. Um, we took a sample of it, and there it was within a, there wasn't as much as we thought, but the problem that we did discover is we left it over the weekend, and it still was suspended, which tells us it's extreme fines that mm -hmm. are not settling out. Mm -hmm. So we might have a meet or meeting with them tomorrow to see if we might have them add some flocculants to the sediment basin so that it's a clearer water. It's never going to be clear coming off a construction site. No. All we do is set, uh, filter it out. The best removal you could look at is a 60 to 70 percent removal. Is there, is there any potential um, yeah. harm to the to the fish in the fishing pond or anything like that? Or? There there could be. I yeah. mean, I, I don't know to what degree if there will or there will not. Um, I There are some other that those ponds also take all the water from the track also, which mm -hmm. is all there also. <clears throat> so there's a lot of other contributing factors that they've had even after, even before this project mm -hmm. started. I know in the summers when we got a good rain, you know, with the mud water coming down the falls. So they've had some issues Prior. all along, but this is not <clears throat> helping okay. the situation. Okay. So we're trying to address this problem. Um, we haven't seen any fish kills of any sort. Um, I know they stock it for the fair in the basket container areas. Oh, okay. I don't know how much they fish those out. If it gets all fished out. I see. Not. Okay. So, um, we've been watching it, and like I said, we're trying to find out. We're meeting with the engineer and the contractors tomorrow to say, you know, we've got to come up with something better, okay. a better idea, because it's, with the amount of rain and the saturated soils, I think that's what's happening. Is it's just getting so saturated that it's not holding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you. We are, yeah, we are on top of it, unfortunately. Okay. Every time it rains, and it seems always rain on the weekend, you yes. know, and yeah. <laughs> so I'm calling people Saturday night, Sunday morning, you know, get someone out here now because it looks like it's breached. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a motion on number eight. Yeah. Sorry. Make a motion on eight. <laughs> Second. We should do work. Yes. We should okay. do work. Motion number Yes. <coughs> okay, next item. And number nine, um, <coughs> you're familiar with the Clean Ohio <coughs> Conservation Fund. This is through the Ohio Public Works Commission, who manages it. Um, we are currently in round 14 of this. This was done through uh, bonds from the state. This is through sale of bonds. Basically, provided money for people who wanted to. Uh, purchase land to put it to keep it protected or purchase easements on the land. Um, we, we've been, like I said, 14 rounds of it. 95% <coughs> of it has been land acquisitions, um, very few easements. We were approached by uh, uh, Mazingos uh, in Bainbridge last January, January of 18. Um, they purchased some land. There's two large parcels, it's a 40 acre parcel now and a 17 acre. They purchased a 17-acre portion. It used to be a historical farmhouse. They've been restoring it to its original condition, trying to keep it to the house in its original state that it was. Um, the property currently has sanitary sewer that goes across it. Um, there is a stream that runs on the eastern side of the property. Square six will be to be uh, east. Okay. Of it. But um, one of the concerns was that it's an older farmhouse. They're going to have to eventually probably replace their septic at some point in time. But there was, you know, do, do they or can they tie into the, the sanitary? Well, the township was really nervous, and, you know, well, we've got a few other properties in the Bainbridge area mm. that have sanitary sewer, and there's been cases where you have the sanitary sewer on your property, <coughs> or you can really go to a dense development. And the township is <coughs> concerned, you know, we don't want another dense development right here. Mm -hmm. The homeowner does not want to do that. He wants to put an easement on. He goes, I want to keep it like that. He's also working with the adjacent owner that he purchased the property from. The Bayes were interested also in keeping that 40 acres protected. Um, we're also working on that. We don't have that one all finalized yet. I haven't spoken to him enough yet. 
but for the 17 acre that he owns, the township wants those kind of a gentleman's handshake agreement. If you don't develop this, yeah, we don't see any problem with you tying into this, but mm -hmm. we're just concerned about you being able to develop this in a very high density fashion. And he didn't want to do it, so he wants to put an easement on it. The township's very supportive of them putting an easement on this to keep it in its natural state, and it would help with a lot of a lot of different things like flood attenuation, keeping the stream and the wetlands intact that are on the eastern portion of the property. So they approached us on this in January of 18. We didn't have any, you know, we were still trying to work out the details. Didn't know if we really wanted to go forward with this. Um, they contacted OPWC and they said, "Oh, go to Jarrett County and see if there's anyone that would like to hold this easement because we have the program." So we talked with them, and OPWC thinks it's a good project. It will be an easement, so it stays in the person's name. It stays on the tax duplicate. It does not go into a park property or anything of that nature. Okay. But the only applicants that can, or only people that can apply for this grant funds is a 501c3 or a township, county, soil and water district entity. So do you think they will tie into the sewer then? If they, I don't know what state their septic is in, but if at some point they have to replace their septic, I don't know, I think if there's a sanitary on the property, yeah, there's some type of law. The only difference with this property is that that line that runs through there is a trunk. Is a trunk. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a service line. Or oh, no. Not yeah. a, a collection line. Right. So it's not as easy. So it's not as easy to tie in. We, we kind of water resources always held that trunk mains are not to be tied in with a right. with a service connection. Okay. Right. But, so I don't know but if it they... could but it could be one of those mm -hmm. where if they developed it because the sewer's there the EPA would require them to put it in right. a collection line in to pick up three or four houses or whatever. Okay. So there's the, there's still that so is there an easement already run through yeah. his property? Yeah, yeah there's a sanitary sewer easement. Sanitary okay. sewer easement yes, and no, it's a seventeen acre parcel and it looks like we're going to keep a three-acre building envelope. There's some old farm buildings. Um, he has some gardens and stuff. He's going to keep that out of the easement so he can still maintain those buildings and uh, take care of land and grow vegetables, whatever he chooses to do on that parcel part of it. Hmm. Interesting. So as part of the OPWC agreement, um, if you're not a township or a county, com county board of commissioners, you have to get a resolution from the township it resides in as well as the county. So okay, have they, have they done their... Uh, the township is, is in the waiting, same... Are they waiting for us? Or it's, it just happens simultaneously. It's not one waiting for the other. They just both have to happen. So they're in the process of getting it on their agenda. Okay. It'll probably be the... It's going to be the end of, Jan, end of December, beginning of January. Yeah. Does it make sense for them to do it first before we do it or not? It's, it doesn't really matter either way. It doesn't, mm -hmm. They're independent of each other. Okay. So, so do you have to present them for Bainbridge too? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. And it's a basic standard easement that OPWC gives us as a standard language that we can't develop the area that's within the easement. They can use it, enjoy it, but they cannot build on it. <coughs> for that area, it's probably kind of good. Okay. A little yeah. bit of impending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, lot of, a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah. And you're not paying the regular taxes on it anyway. Yeah, right. So. It doesn't change. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, if we could read number nine real quick. The Soil and Water Conservation District is requesting for a true next peak resolution 19-188 in support of the Washington Savage Conservation Easement Project in the Township of Cambridge, Ohio. So move. Second. Motion to board? Yes. You should say right. Yes. Cool. Uh, we're good. We're good. Your eyes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Very good. Thank you. I printed that off purposely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I thought of it. I said, I don't think I sent you a mail. Yeah, <laughs> keep up. Parcel number. Keep us informed on the fairgrounds. Yes, I yeah. said tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to try a few different things that are not typical, but we're going to. Yeah. So okay. So is this almost like across the street, that dog walking park or something? That's over. Um. In South Chagrin. Russell? Yeah. No. Well, South. So, so yeah, there's, there's a park. There's a South Russell. The South Russell the, Park the is actually park. across also the street. Real close to East Washington. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yes. And that's South Russell. Yeah. Okay. Right. Exactly. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Put that in your office. Thank you. Do you want me to mail this one? Um, or do you want to copy it? 
I want a copy of it. You can mail it if you can send me a copy. Of it off. I can scan it to you. That would be great too. <laughs> Very good. Okay, um, Department you. of Aging, Jessica. Is he? Oh, no. That's awesome. <laughs> Morning. How are you? Very good, thanks. Okay. Um, so the first thing uh, we have is uh, Bob DeBevitz. Um, he's, he's planning to retire January 31st. We were a little bit behind in the hiring process. He's also on some vacation he's going to be utilizing before he retires. So we just wanted to extend his retirement date. Um, just a little bit beyond 30 days and ending on the um, end of our pay period. So we want to change it from the 31st to of uh, 2020 to March 5th. So do, were you guys able to find uh, someone yet? Yes. Okay. I, I will say in general, I mean, qualified candidates, it is it is pretty hard to find. I think we, we've definitely mentioned that to Jerry, but, you know, the quality applications are just not coming in. So it's taking a long time with the hiring process. Um, we posted for a fiscal officer. No, I don't have a qualified applicant. Mm. So it's, what's it's, the, it's tough. <laughs> what's the starting rate for the fiscal officer? Um, just over 20 an hour. So it's so I will say it's um, the hiring process is a little difficult and the training process when you're behind. So. Hmm. Okay. All right. If we could read 10, please. The Department on Aging is requesting the board accept and approve the revised retirement resignation for Robert and Development's short and home safety coordinator from January 31st, 2020 to the, to the revised date to be effective in March 5th, 2020 to allow for proper training of the new hired So move. Second. Motion to board? Yes. Hi. Hi. Next, I have another retirement resignation for Elvira Jackson. Jackson, she's been in our adult day service for just over 19 years, so she's spent a wonderful time with our seniors <coughs> and done a tremendous job. Mm. And then also, I'd like to post her part-time position as well. It's following the next one. Okay. Uh, motion on 11 and 12, please. So move. Second. Motion to board. Yes. Motion to board. Motion to Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Yep. yep. Okay. Steve. Did they do stuff out? I think that's a good choice. Yeah, they, I mean, they're in trouble getting applicants, but eventually they're going to be long enough that a really good applicant does come in. Oh, He's good. real super handy. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Morning. Item hey, number 13. Good morning, Steve. Stay <laughs> <So I'm> quiet. <laughs> so we have a couple items today on the agenda. Uh, we'd like to uh, have the board approve uh, hiring Kyle Capato for the position of seasonal help from January 13th, April 30th, for up to 13 weeks. The young man has a uh, Bachelor's of Science in Environmental Engineering and is doing some work at uh, Lakeland and Geospatial and I'd like him to come do some mapping work for us to get caught up. Very good. Does he have his degree already? Or? Yes. Okay. Excellent. So maybe we can continue to foster county. him. Uh, yeah. yeah yes. Right. That's very good. Um, if we could read 13, please. The Department of Water Resources is requesting for approved hiring Kyle Capato to the position of seasonal health number 0101 to be effective January 13, 2020. April 30th, 2020, up to 13 weeks, maximum $520 per week, $10 per hour. So moved. Second. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. And the next two items, 14 and 15, we're the board approved revised job descriptions. Uh, the first one is for the maintenance foreman, and what we're really doing with that is changing the grade, lowering the salary, better alignment duties. It's currently not filled, but now the opportunity to drop it down to align with peers within the, uh, the department. And number 15, we have several job descriptions and the main changes in those job descriptions are several of remove the CDL requirement, which makes it tough for us to hire, and the other positions that do require a CDL to get the endorsement for the tanker. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're dropping um, one clause in all of them that says they need X amount of years experience because we're going to be hiring from within. Okay. So we're cleaning it all up with the contract coming down the road. Okay, great. If we could get a motion on 14 and 15. So moved. Second. Commissioner DeBoer? Yes. Commissioner Aye. Aye. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so this is about the wellness grant. Number 16. Yes. Yeah. Authorization of the in the program. Uh, 36 counties, is it? I believe so. Are the only yeah. one that went down? or, or um, A few of them went down. A few of them went down, yeah. but the majorities went up. But our participation is going up, yeah. so we can provide more funds and different things. Very good. If we could get a motion on 16, please. I'll make that motion. Second. Commissioner DeVore? Yes. Commissioner DeVore? Aye. Commissioner Yes. Thank Great. Thank Very you. good. Thank you so much. Okay, the Commissioner's Office requesting the Board reappoint George Chip Hess II to the Airport Authority Board for a four-year term starting January 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2023. If we could have a motion, please. Make that motion. Second. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Aye. Aye. Very good. Okay. A um, couple... Um, Announcements: We do have a um, ADP board meeting. Uh, is Jim, are you my alternate for ADP? I think so. Um, would you be able to attend that today for me? Is that like a two? Two. two. Is that, could you do that or not? If not, I can make some arrangements. Or Jerry, maybe you could run up there for us. Yeah, I can do it if you can. Okay. Okay. I I have some <coughs> running around to do um, to later today. I, I I'd have to you know go to the other side of town and come back. But I could either way you know. If you could be there, that'd be great. If yeah, not, yeah, I just don't let me know. Okay. 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 It's just an awkward time of the day for me there. Um, and then tomorrow, um, I have Board of Revisions. Um, and also, Thursday, we'll have our Portage Geauga Juvenile Detention Center meeting at Portage County offices. Um, you know, I don't. Do we have anything on the agenda for that, or is that just a. Uh, Financial. Well, I asked Amy yesterday again because I hadn't seen anything from them. They posted the meeting. Um, you have to do the budget. You have to do the permanent budget for next year. Mm -hmm. um, so I know that that's on there. Um, the minutes from the last two meetings are on there. Um, but aside from anything else, I don't know what else okay. is on the agenda other than maybe some um, financial stuff. I mean, if we had any uh, discussion, I feel like we're just kicking the can here with this juvenile detention center again. You know, another year has clicked by and we're still in the same agreement. And is it, has there been any, I know they've talked about some other potential ideas over there, but nothing concrete. Yeah, the last I've heard yeah. is they've, they've not found anything that is a feasible option for you know, for that you facility, right? It because I mean, of the way the facility is built. I mean, I think you know, I think that has run its course. You know, if you look at the numbers, it just um, it it doesn't make financial sense. You know, I think we've had maybe two juveniles in the juvenile detention center, and we we're sharing, you know, twenty percent equity in this in this building over there. I, I think we need to start researching some other. Avenues to, you know, the, the starting <coughs> point of that is something being provided to the board from the judge. Right, right. But I, I think judge, you know, I mean, that's where we, the, the 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 board that we sit on, the commissioners, really has no authority to start making those type of. That would be the the, the, the board, board of trustees, tr trustees yes. that makes that decision. Yep. And until that happens, I mean, we're just we're just reviewing the financials, really. I mean, we have no. Just, it's a it's a unique board situation because we guys really don't have a lot of authority yeah. to do anything. You know, the trustees are the ones who do that. But you see how much we're shelling out every exactly. year. You know, I agree. For you know, around the clock, um, you know, service over there, and you know, we barely ever have any kids go down there, right? Yeah, yeah we, we have, have to figure out an exit strategy. Yeah, to save some money. 
again, I just, you know, these meetings, I, I attend them, I drive to Portage County every time and I go down there and it's just, I, I don't know what we're truly accomplishing, you know. I mean, I don't like to say I'm wasting my time, but I, sometimes it feels like I'm wasting my time doing this, you know, until we start uh, having a real conversation there. But um, if we could maybe reach out to uh, juvenile court judge and start that conversation I mean I'd be happy to do it or if you want to you know officially with the commissioners you know I don't know how you guys feel about it but I think it's time to start addressing it for sure yeah it's it's time to you yeah. know have a exit strategy plan yeah um, okay and then um, same day Thursday later at 1 p.m. we'll have our, um, our um, board of directors meeting solid waste management um, at 1 p.m. at the Welshfield Inn for a Christmas meeting and um, obviously the county offices will be uh, half day on the 24th and then close the rest of the day 24-hour operations will continue and it will be Christmas we'll be back after uh, oh no we'll be back before the new year right the 31st okay okay any um, questions or comments Related? No, hearing none. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Yeah, those people coming for that newsletter, if you guys want to be here. Today? They're supposed to be here at 10. Oh, Time good. is announced. That's uh, so. pretty close. Oh, okay. now. What's that? Somebody's phone sounds like a doorbell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you want that map? Yes, you can give it back to me now for a second.